You can take the three-hour walk home. Saying so, my husband had a triumphant look on his face. He took advantage of the absence of his parents to act arrogantly like that. But as soon as he saw his parents, he quickly switched to a smile. Ah,、oh, mom, dad, did you find what you wanted? It was crowded, but I managed to buy some drinks. Then we're off. Saying this, my husband, with a kind smile, carried his parents' luggage into the car. And after closing the door, he said, "See ya," to me with a smirk. The angle was such that my in-laws couldn't see. He's mocking me again. However, I replied with a smile, "A three-hour walk home, but I've moved to a new place. That's just a five-minute walk away." My name is Lily, a 32-year-old housewife. I've been married to Ian for three years. We met at a group blind date. Lily, you seem to have a homely vibe. Oh, really? Yes, I'm actually quite interested in you. Could I get your number? Yes, of course. He approached me, and I naturally gave him my number, leading to us meeting more often. He actively asked me out on dates. He researched various restaurants for me, letting me choose where to go based on my mood for the day. He also took me to various great places for dates, clearly putting in effort to plan for me. I was drawn to his sincerity and gradually fell in love with him. After several dates, he confessed to me, and we officially started dating. And a year later, he proposed to me. I've always thought you were my destined partner since the day we first met. And I can say that that feeling will never change. So please, marry me. I wanted to marry him too, so I accepted his proposal. We then met each other's parents and held our wedding. After that, we started living together, and I quit my job to become a full-time housewife. That was because my husband wanted me to focus on keeping the house in order. He worked at a decent company, so I accepted his request and did my best with the household chores, cooking. Laundry, cleaning. I think I was doing quite well. I also tried to get along well with my in-laws. Hello. Oh, Lily, good to see you. These are some muffins from a famous cafe downtown. Let's try them together. Oh, how nice! Sure, let's give them a try. Our home was close to my in-laws, so I visited them regularly. I wanted to build a good relationship with them, but more than that, they were very kind, and I liked them a lot. That was why I ended up visiting so often. My family lives in the countryside, and I couldn't go back home often, so I visited my in-laws' house as if it were my second home. Of course, it wasn't just a visit. I helped with household chores and actively supported them when they needed help. Thank you, Lily. Lately, even if I wanted to go to live events, it's so confusing with e-tickets and such. But thanks to you, we could enjoy the live show without any trouble. I'm glad to hear that. We're so happy you married Ian. You're such a wonderful wife. He's a lucky man. Oh wow, I'm flattered. My in-laws were very fond of me, treating me like their own child. My husband seemed happy that I got along well with his parents, asking me to keep caring for them in this manner. So, while doing my best at home, I also made an effort to communicate with my in-laws. But gradually, my husband's attitude began to change. He started to treat me coldly. Isn't dinner a bit slack today? Um, I don't think so. It's definitely slack. You don't understand what I want to eat at all. I'm sorry. What would you like to eat then? Forget it. I'll eat out. Wait. And so he left without having dinner. I returned late at night. This happened several times, and I was at a loss. He began coming home later and later, always drunk. When at home, he ordered me around to massage his shoulders or to go buy ice cream from the store, treating me like a servant. I gradually began to fear my husband. He would get so angry when in a bad mood; it was impossible to deal with. Despite his parents being so kind, I wondered why my husband was so scary. And then he started to bring less money home. 
Because of this, it became difficult to pay for living expenses, and I had to start working. I had been working as a web designer, so I thought of working freelance from home. That way, I could work while still managing household chores. After researching diligently, I learned how to work as a freelancer and gradually began to see results. The harder I worked, the more I could contribute to our living expenses, so I aggressively sought out work. Before I knew it, I was earning a decent amount, and it seemed like I would soon be able to leave my husband's support. I could balance housework and work, so I decided to stop being his dependent. Thinking this, I conveyed my thoughts to my husband. He half listened, and I was worried whether he understood or not, but it seemed he took care of the necessary procedures. Now, I can increase my work without any worries. I became more motivated and worked hard. It felt like I was relieving the stress of my marital life through work. However, something was bothering me. It was the fact that my husband's business trips had clearly increased lately. Could he be having an affair? Thinking so, I hired a detective agency to investigate. It took time, but a shocking truth was revealed. Knowing this, I confronted my husband, sternly. I never thought he was such a person. Then, I prepared for a divorce, arranging for a place to live alone and hiring a lawyer. My husband seemed unaware, continuing to act arrogantly towards me. Well, it's better if he's off guard. I proceeded with the preparations without concern. During this time, my father-in-law retired, so I suggested to my in-laws that we go on a trip. They were very pleased with the proposal and agreed immediately. It would seem strange if I didn't invite my husband, so I reluctantly invited him. But as expected, he said he couldn't go. Oh, I'm too busy with work. It's impossible. I'll take care of the transportation to and from the airport, so do me a favor and take care of them for me. He must be planning to meet his affair partner. Thinking so, I obediently complied. Then I boarded the plane with my in-laws and went to a famous inn in the countryside. We had a very relaxing time, and the food was delicious. My in-laws seemed very satisfied, saying it had become a good memory. And just like that, the trip ended, and we took the plane back to our local airport. My husband had arrived early and was waiting at the airport. So, we all headed for the parking lot, but along the way, my in-laws wanted to buy some drinks. So I decided to wait in the parking lot with my husband. My husband walked to the parking lot in silence, and upon reaching his car, he looked at me coldly and said, You're really a useless wife, aren't you? You could have at least bought some souvenirs. Oh, sorry for not being considerate. Well, whatever. But, as a punishment... You're not getting in the car. What? You can take the three-hour walk home. Saying so, my husband had a triumphant look on his face. He took advantage of the absence of his parents to act arrogantly like that. But as soon as he saw his parents, he quickly switched to a smile. Ah, oh, Mom, Dad, did you find what you wanted? It was crowded, but I managed to buy some drinks. Then we're off. Saying this, my husband with a kind smile carried his parents' luggage into the car. And after closing the door, he said, See ya, to me with a smirk. The angle was such that my in-laws couldn't see. He's mocking me again. However, I replied with a smile. A three-hour walk home? But I've moved to a new place that's just a five-minute walk anyway. What? My husband's expression changed at my words. He hadn't expected me to say that. What are you talking about? Moved to a new place? I don't understand what you mean. My husband started to get irritated. His flow being interrupted seemed to anger him. Since my husband and I took so long to get in the car, his parents became worried and opened the window to speak to us. What's wrong? Did something happen? Oh no, it's nothing. Don't worry. It seems Lily has some errands and won't need to get in the car. Oh, is that so? My in-laws looked at me worriedly. My husband seemed to be trying to smooth things over. I said to my in-laws with a smile, Well, I don't want to get in the car of someone who's having an affair anyways. What? 
My statement surprised both my husband and in-laws. What do you mean? An affair? What is this about? Sensing it was serious, my in-laws got out of the car. I don't understand either. Lily, what are you saying? Me? Having an affair? I would never do that. What are you trying to do, saying baseless things like that? My husband said while panicking. He was glaring at me, making sure that his parents couldn't see. He must be quite shaken inside. I'm not making any of this up. Ian has been having an affair behind my back. No, I haven't. If you keep talking nonsense, I'll sue you for defamation. My husband's anger showed on his face, turning red with rage. Hey, Ian, calm down. Yes, don't raise your voice like that. Lily, if you're saying that much, you must have some evidence, correct? My father-in-law asked me. Of course. I said so and showed them the picture on my phone. This is a photo of Ian entering a hotel with another woman. Oh, my. Who is this woman? Hey, when was this taken? You shouldn't be taking photos like that without permission. And this? It's fabricated. I don't remember doing such a thing. I don't know this woman at all. Huh? Pretending not to know? I'm not saying that. I'm saying I haven't had an affair. I've been faithful to you all this time. Why would you say such terrible things? My husband is trying to stick to his lie. Faithful to me? How can he lie so blatantly with a straight face? Lily, is Ian really having an affair? You two have always seemed close. We were reassured every time we saw you two converse happily. Which one of you is telling the truth? My in-laws seemed to start believing my husband's claim that he wasn't having an affair. My husband was more eloquent than I thought. Thinking he could win this way, my husband smirked for a second. I don't understand why I'm being doubted like this. Lily, why are you lying? What are you trying to do by demeaning me? I've always loved only you. My husband was acting sad, trying to deceive his parents. You really are amazing, aren't you? Doing such terrible things and still lying through your teeth. I'm almost impressed. It's like you've left behind something important as a person. What do you want by saying that to me? I don't understand your intention at all. My husband thought he was at an advantage, so he looked confident. But his confident expression quickly filled with panic. Because I had called someone to come. Ian. What? Uh. A woman called my husband from behind him. As soon as he saw her, my husband's face turned pale. Wh why That's my line. You said you were single, right? You told me you were a widower, immersing yourself in work to distract yourself from the loneliness. Then you met me and color returned to your monochrome life, right? Were all those words about wanting to marry me someday lies? The woman confronted my husband. Oh, this person is from that photo. My in-laws were speechless looking at the woman. Yes, the woman confronting my husband was the same one in the photo I showed as evidence of the affair. In other words, the person who appeared confirmed my husband's affair was true. What are you talking about? Who are you? My husband told a desperate lie. The worst thing to do. How can you? So I was just a game to you. Our relationship can be proven by our messages and photos we took together. Saying so, she showed us the message exchanges and photos of them looking like a dating couple. Ian, so you were dating this woman, huh? Betraying Lily sneaking around like that, and lying about being single to this woman. Oh, well... No more excuses. I know that you had relationships with five women like this while on business trips. Five? My statement shocked his parents. Wait, wait a minute. I didn't do that. I wouldn't say such a thing without evidence. I showed them photos with the other four. I heard you volunteered for business trips, and you seduced cute local women to have fun, eh? Taking them to hotels paid by the company, what were you doing? And you told all of them you were single. I directly contacted these women, informing them that I'm married to you and not dead. They all said they would make a protest to your company. 
In fact, the women my husband was involved with were all employees of clients he interacted with on his business trips. If the company knew one of their employees was hitting on client employees every time he went on a business trip, they would surely take action. Even my foolish husband could understand that, showing the most disturbance today. That would be a problem. My career path. If a piece of trash like you got promoted, the company would be over. It's good that we found out before more victims were born. Don't joke with me. Do you know what'll happen by doing this? That's you, Ian. Deceiving a wonderful woman like Lily, and also deceiving other women. You're a fraudster. F fraudster? Yes, a criminal like you is no longer our son. We're cutting ties with you. But that's. After being spoken to coldly by his parents, my husband seemed to finally realize the crimes he had committed. Then, even abandoned by the deceived affair partner, my husband was left alone in the airport parking lot. My in-laws said they would go home by train, so I saw them off at the station and then went home. That night, my husband called. "Hello, what do you want? You're really not coming back? Of course not. I've already rented a place and moved out, didn't I tell you?" Five-minute walk from the airport. Was that true? Yes, it certainly was. A full-time housewife like you renting a room to live alone. How did you? You really have lost interest in me. Did you forget when I told you to handle the procedure for leaving your dependent? Or was your head so full of your affairs that you don't remember? I'm working from home now, earning a decent amount. Not as much as you, but enough to live alone. The that. Can't be true. Unfortunately, all of it is true, and I'm divorcing you, and of course, asking for alimony. A notice will be sent from the lawyer, so make sure to respond. Ignoring it will lead to a lawsuit, so be prepared. L lawsuit? My husband seemed quite panicked by the word lawsuit. Probably he wants to settle things smoothly, since he'll be facing severe punishment at work. That's why he called me. Well then, there's nothing else to talk about. Wait. What? You might not believe this, but I really love you the most. Huh? Yes, I did repeatedly have affairs on business trips, but that was because I was lonely. I wanted to love each other more as a husband and wife. Of course, I know I was wrong. I'm willing to make amends for the rest of my life. So please give me just one more chance. The woman I wanted and will stay married to is only you, Lily. I believe you're my distant partner. So please give me a chance. Ian, my husband desperately sought reconciliation. Indeed, he was the first person I thought of marrying, and I was very happy when we decided to marry. And our newlywed life was fun. Not all memories were bad. There was indeed a happy marriage life with him, but my hatred overrode those happy times. Unfortunately, there's no chance for reconciliation. You betrayed me. That was the end for you. Don't say that, Lily. Please, one more chance. One more chance? I could never go flirt with some woman on the street. There's nothing else to talk about, so let's communicate through our lawyer. I'll never forgive you, L Lily. I said so and hung up. Then I blocked my husband's number. Through my lawyer, I demanded a divorce for my husband and also requested alimony. Since all the affair partners were deceived into thinking he was single, I didn't ask for alimony from them, and so I successfully divorced my husband. I was able to receive thirty-five thousand dollars in alimony in installments. Due to complaints from the affair partners, my ex-husband became a person of caution within the company, and he was no longer assigned any important work, including business trips. Naturally, his salary decreased. He was pushed to the sidelines. Now he's viewed coldly by both female and male employees working in an uncomfortable environment. Also, he was disowned by his parents, so currently living in a cheap apartment, leading a poor life while paying a large amount of alimony. All of this is self-inflicted, so there's no room for sympathy. On the other hand, my work from home is on track, and my income has increased. Now I'm completely surpassing my ex-husband's salary, living a rich life while increasing my savings. I still keep in touch with my in-laws, occasionally going out to eat with them. I'm still young, so while working hard, I also want to enrich my private life. First, I'm thinking of starting a new hobby. I'll enjoy my life to the fullest, making my ex-husband a distant memory. Thank you for watching until the end. If you liked it, please subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.